What's up, everybody? Welcome to Flex or Fade, where Chris K and I go through the Saturday main slate of DraftKings contest, and we pick one player each that we are flexing, meaning we want to try and uh, include him in our player pool, uh, and that the other guy is fading. So today's topic is Drew Aller of Penn State. Now, I am a bit biased here, being a Penn State fan. Um, just a little bit, yeah. We, uh, we are, right? Uh, so through so far six six and a half quarters, we'll call it for drill R he's thrown for 529 yards, averaging roughly 81 yards per quarter. So we equate that to a four quarter performance. It's 325 yards per game, which makes sense because that's exactly what he threw against, uh, West Virginia. So seeing that extrapolated again, uh, in that Delaware game, um, if we think that Illinois defense is better than West Virginia's, which I do think that they're they're a little bit better than West Virginia's. I don't think it's it's much, but it is. Um, we still shouldn't be surprised that Aller's uh, upside of capturing a 300 yard game um, is still well within the outcomes in in the possibilities here. So, um, a 300 yard passing performance with rushing upside is obviously the top end of what we're looking at uh, in terms of college fantasy quarterbacks. Um, and the fact that he is uh, pretty reasonably priced this week, I believe he's coming in um, right at the is it 7,900. Yeah, 7,900 this yep. week on DraftKings. So um, we look at the flip side of this matchup. Illinois allowed 539 yards uh, through the air last week or through last week, um, 277 yards uh, coming through the air. Uh, they've got the 89th passing defense in the nation, um, despite playing Toledo and Kansas, two teams that, you know, they they have talented quarterbacks, but I don't think that we are calling them pass-heavy offenses necessarily. Um, so I just think this is a really great spot. Penn State's going to want to have Aller get comfortable. It's his first road start. We want to see that growth in terms of uh, a quarterback coming into his own, and, you know, the expectations are high for Penn State. So, uh, that being said, this week I am flexing Drew Aller. I, I will say this is probably the hardest fade I've had to do, but I, I will do it if I have to. <laughs> uh, you know, he does give you rushing potential. He seems to be a good passer from everything we've seen, 80% essentially in you know, the, the limited usage essentially. But I am just worried that this game oddly stays close in Franklin really focuses on the run. And the thing here is, right, like Singleton and Allen are incredible talents. I'm buttering you up, by the way. I'm, I'm knocking Aller down, but I'm doing it by making this such a positive towards Singleton and Allen. You don't care. I was talking to my a friend about this earlier, and it's so hard to project Singleton and Allen because, like, on any other team, they're ridiculous, incredible talents that yeah. average 20-plus a game, right? The, at some point... Franklin is going to do this and he's going to give it each of them a huge amount of usage. And I think there's the po uh, possibility of this, right? We saw last year, Franklin was very like cautious with Clifford in terms of keeping him safe and healthy, you know, making sure that he focused on the ground game because it just was so good. You know, is Aller a bad play? No. You know, like if you're in a cash game, you should hundred percent feel good about Aller. I think his upside is possible, but it won't happen because I do think they lean on the run game so much. I do think Illinois will keep it close, which is, uh, you know, maybe not the route that many of you thought I was going to go. You know, hey, blow out. They don't need them. Um, I think they just, this could game could get very sloppy, slow. Illinois is not going to try to pass it a ton. Um, you know, you did mention the matchups. You know, hey, I'm a Daquan fan, uh, Daquan Finn fan. That was 6.2 yards per attempt in that game. So they threw a ton of times. You know, you're not happy with 230 passing yards if that's what you got out of Aller. But we'll see. I think this is a hard one. You know, I'm not going to say I'm not going to have zero of them. But I even looking at my own personal projections, I have them at 21 DraftKings fantasy points. So he wouldn't be in the top five or eight quarterbacks of mine. So we'll see. I mean, that's why they play on the field, Ethan. Hey, as long as this isn't a uh, multi overtime game against Illinois, I am uh, more than happy. So, well, hey, multi overtime where there's like 12 two point conversions. <laughs> so, you can't even get the touchdowns in the overtime anymore. But yeah. Anyways, for sure. Well, uh, that's that's where we're at on Drew Aller this week. So, 
Uh, if you've got any uh, thoughts, feel free to weigh in here in the comments or uh, jump into the Discord and let us know. But uh, this week, Flexor Fade, Drew Aller, where you guys stand? 